In this lecture, we're going to show how we can use the same sketch, but in multiple features. So first, let's create a sketch on the top plane. Let's go here with center rectangle. Like this, let's click OK. Let's put some dimensions here. Let's go with 200 here. Let's go here with 100. Now let's click OK. Now let's go to circle. And let's create a circle here. Like this. Let's click OK. Let's go to smart dimension. Let's put here the diameter of 50 millimeters. Like this. And let's click OK. Now let's go to features. Let's go to extrude boss base. Now here automatically we can see that we have this feature, so the circle is not included. But maybe we want to include a circle, so let's go here to selected contours. Let's click here. Let's choose also this circle here. And now we can choose this rectangle. And now we can define the depth of the extrusion. Like this. Let's click OK. And we got this feature. If we open this feature here on the Feature Manager Design Tree, we can see that we have Sketch 1. And now, for example, we want to use this sketch, not the old sketch, but some elements of this sketch to create extruded cut. So let's click on this Sketch 1. Let's go to Features. Let's go to Extruded Cut. And now let's go down here to Select Contours. Let's right-click and let's delete this. So now we're going to choose only this circle here, as we can see. This one. So we can choose here between this circle and this rectangle, or we can choose both. But now we're going to use this circle. We're going to go here to other direction. Let's go reverse direction, like this. So now here we're going to change the start of the extrusion. We're going to go with offset. And let's put here 25 millimeters, as we can see here. And here for the end, we're going to choose through all, like this. Now let's click OK. And now we got this result. So this hole doesn't go through all. The depth is 25 millimeters. Now let's go to Feature Manager Design Tree. Let's open Cut Extrude 1. And we can see that we have the same sketch for Cut Extrude 1 and Boss Extrude 1. So here we have Sketch 1. And here we have Sketch 1 as well. And now we use the same sketch by multiple features. And now we're going to show how we can change the name of features and sketches here on the Feature Manager Design Tree. So, for example, we want to change the name of the Boss Extrude 1. So, let's select Boss Extrude 1. Now, let's just once click here, left click on the Boss Extrude 1. And now we can change the name. Let's call it Feature 1, like this. Now, let's go to Cut Extrude 2. Let's select. Let's click again. And now we have here Feature 2. The same thing, we can also change the name of the sketch. Let's select Sketch. Let's click again. Let's call it Sketch 1. 1a and now we can see that this sketch here automatically changes the name to sketch 1a because those two are the same sketches now let's go to the sketch 1a let's go edit sketch let's go normal 2 like this let's go now to center rectangle like this and let's create some rectangle like this dimensions are not important now let's exit sketch and now we got this result, and maybe we don't want this, so let's go to Feature 1, let's go Edit Feature, let's go here to Selected Contours, let's click here, let's choose also this rectangle, like this. Let's click OK. And now, for example, we want to create another feature. So let's choose here, Sketch 1A here, or here, let's go to Features, Extrude Boss Base. Let's go to Selected Contours, let's delete this, let's choose this rectangle here, like this. Let's increase the depth. Let's go to 100, like this. Let's click OK. Let's open now Boss Extra 2 here, and here we have Sketch 1A. So, what we show now? We use the same sketch by three different features Feature 1, Feature 2, and Boss Extra 3 or Feature 3. If you're tired of watching on YouTube videos and buying cheap courses who always leave you wishing and wanting for more, 
and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.